Hello and welcome to Trinksim TV. My name is Tom and in today's video we're going to be having a look on the Metline once more. We're going to do a short run. Uh, it's a run between Neasden Depot and Baker Street. It's an ECS working. Uh, the scenario lasts for about 20 minutes or so. Um, we're going to manoeuvre out of Neasden Depot and um, basically we're going to follow a service train down to Baker Street. So we're going to get straight into this. We are also running Sam T's sound mod on the S8. Um, enjoy, sit back, and let's get going. Good morning, driver. Your task today is a relatively easy and short one. You'll be required to take this S8 from Neasden Depot to Baker Street. This train will form the 0733 to Uxbridge. Set up your cab appropriately and head for Baker Street at 0711. So, we've got about a minute and a half to get ourselves prepared, so key on into Tripcock because we are leaving straight out of here probably could be wrong actually I'm wondering I don't actually know about this one I've never done Tripcock out this way but I'm gonna leave it in I'll just ease it out um, on the 10 mile an hour could be wrong uh, right so duty number I don't actually know what that is but we'll put that in just put some random ones in train number is 405 <clears throat> and we're out of service, so it's are in the knees and signal operating area as well. About 25 seconds and we'll get ourselves moving out of here. So we're heading to Baker Street Platform 1 on this uh, working, which is about five and a half miles. A few approach controls to contend with as well into Baker Street. Keep us on our toes. And it is time we've got the got the road. We get held just at the end of here, just before we get to the level crossing. <clears throat> so we're just looking for that signal just on the ground there. We're we'll waiting for a service to pass by and then we should get the road to head on uh, onto the main line. It's on its way down now. That level crossing sounds not annoying at all. <laughs> way over here. Watch it go past.
Uh, once he's out of the way and clear the next signal, which is about 0.23 of a mile, we will get the road. You just about see the signal there, just behind that pillar. We'll get the stencil indicator first, and then the disc will uh, it'll clear. There we go. So stencil indicator followed by the disc repeater, uh, disc repeater, disc signal. Sorry, ground signal, if you call it. There we go. It's five mile an hour just over this crossing currently. Once we hit the 15, we can actually uh, power up. Different law and rules on the underground compared to the National Rail Network. It will tell you off, but those are the correct procedures. Neasden. Neasden station um, does have platforms on the met lines, only uh, only for use of uh, when in emergency. If anything occurs on the met line up ahead, the um, you can stop here, detrain everyone, and get them onto the Jubilee line to get them further along the line where they need to be, rather than having people stranded. Also, the trains do stop there for um, dropping off work um, staff of the met. Uh, when they go back to knees and depot. If you've ever sat there and wondered how my train sat on knees but I couldn't get off, that is the reason why. Heading towards Bullsdon Green, and again, it's the same as uh, Neasden, it's got platforms for the Met line here once again. Same reason, any issues on the line up ahead, they can get uh, the passengers off and onto the Jubilee line uh, safely and get them further down the track to where they need to be. So we just passed uh, Dollar Hill just before as well uh, on the Jubilee uh, platforms. Remember, when we do have a service up ahead, so we need to watch the signals always along the uh, on this section. The next platform in the central sections here is um, Kilburn. Again, it's just a Jubilee Line station. Going down to 50 mile an hour. Too far from Finchley Road, uh, 0.75 of a mile, just under. And we do drop down to 45 uh, just after West Hampstead Station, 
but this once again is a Jubilee network station. Playing cautiously now because I know that the, uh, the surface ahead will have been stopping at Finchley Road, so we will end up having a signal to watch out for soon. Um, he is just up at the station up ahead, as I say, so we need to obviously start slowing down. He is just leaving now, so if we just start crawling up to the, uh, the signal at the end of the platform. We should get to proceed as we uh, approach. And there we go. Also bearing in mind, even though this has gone green, we do have another signal at the end of the platform that we will have to watch out for. So there's no point powering up. We've got a yellow um, repeater there on the uh, canopy, although the signal has just gone green. The truck clock arm currently not gone down yet. It's just gone down now and the light has gone off as well. Next signal again is uh, a red. We have a repeat banner there showing yellow. Even though it's such a short scenario, this one does keep you on your toes. Once again, we have a yellow uh, on the repeater there, so I'm going to start slowing down for the next signal. Green, so we'll get going again. Quite a bit of a, a bit of a section there now, uh, 0.4 of a mile. Also, note we're in the Baker Street signaling centre now. Also, noting that the Wheatfield flag has gone off. That goes off when you go through the Finchley Road into the tunnel. Uh, we also have an approach control coming up on the next corner, so I'm going to start slowing down for that. Also bearing in mind that we could also get a red due to the train ahead of us. There's no point racing up to it. I'm just going to coast it there. We should No, oh, it's gone. I'm just going through Malva Road. Once, uh, once was a station on the Met Line many years ago. You can actually see the train ahead of us there, so we need to start. On. I was just going to trip to, uh, to a green. As you can see, he's just going for the approach control down the line up there. Just crossing over Regent's Canal currently, you can just see the train going up the hill. Not sure how well it comes up on the video. It's quite a. It's 
very much chasing the other train at the minute. Okay, just gone yellow there. It's green. So we've got a green, but the yellow indicates the next signal is um, red, which is another approach control. So we can start slowing down for that currently. The train ahead hasn't cleared the next section. Hopefully we'll uh, clear there in a minute. There we go, he's just cleared there. So now we're going to cross over Regent's Canal. Chilton Bay Line on the right hand side of the canal bridge um, all the, and all that. That goes into Marley Bow. You can just see it on that side there, outside of them bushes and trees. We have another approach control to uh, adhere to. This is just in the centre of, of the two lines before the tunnel. She's just there. You can just make it out. I'm just waiting for that to clear now. We've gone over the uh, the timing section. He'll clear. Um, that will clear when the train ahead has gone past the draw up signal. With M MB100. Just watching this signal for changing now. There we go, he's just cleared there now, so we'll get going again. We have a draw up signal now. 4.9 mile an hour, we need to be doing it the most to get this to change. It's just down there, it's MB100, as I've mentioned before. Do not be filled by the 25 mile an hour sign, of course, because you can't do 25 through this signal. If you try doing 25, it will not change. So, this and the one ahead coact together. Once you clear this one, the one ahead changes. So we're just easing up to it now, so keep your eye on the two signals. There we go, well cleared. So we can now actually apply some power. But we do have another approach control which will take us into platform 1, just beyond MB14A. So we do have MB4B next, this is the next signal up in the centre of the tracks. We'll start slowing down for this one, this is quite a late changer. change as we approach it. Yep. There we go. So we are now clearing to Baker Street Platform 1. So as we manoeuvre over the final crossovers, we enter Baker Street Platform 1. Full compressor. So it's 10 mile an hour into the platform. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This scenario is available with the S8 stock from Just Trained. It comes um, ready to use on the Met line. Um, there's a version of this also for the S7 Plus one. Um, there's one for each. If you wish to have a play of this one, nice easy little run. Keeps you on your toes, gets you playing with the uh, approach controls as well. 
I've been Tom, we've been trying some TV and don't forget you can catch our Twitch channel, link is in the description below. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, any feedback as well, it's always uh, appreciated. Um, thanks once again for joining us and we'll catch you on the next video. Take care and stay safe guys.